Hello and welcome to our tutorial on how to play magnets. Alright, so on this game, the first rule is that magnets can only touch the opposite sides. For example, the red or the positive side can only touch the white negative side. You can't have two positives together because they'll push away. You want them to stay connected in this little box. Um, the second rule is that you see the little plus on the top left? This means that the threes next to it mean there are three positives in those columns. And then if you look below the plus, we have twos and ones. That means in those rows, you have two positives or one positive only. On the bottom right, we have the negative sign. This will be, this is really confusing for me at first, but um, you'll, you'll get the hang of it. It'll be a lot easier to understand as we continue to use it. So on the left column, we have four negatives. On the top row, we have three negatives, etc. So let's go ahead and start with the left column. Since we know there's going to be four negatives and three positives, we know that we're going to use these three long dominoes that are going vertically. So we're going to put question marks. This will help us remember that there are dominoes here, but we don't know which, um, which direction they face. If they're going to have the positive up or positive down. So, we don't know if the top part is going to have a blank, which is the green space, which you can use the this little button down here to fill in a green. It's part of the solution uh, to mark up all the greens. Um, or if it's going to be a domino that's going to have a positive and a negative. We do know that one of those two top left dominoes are going to have a negative in that column. And let's go ahead and focus on the top um, row. We have that three negatives and two positives. Well, we only have three spots for a negative, so we know that the middle one is definitely going to be negative. All right, so if we focus on the other two dominoes, we have to have positives towards that negative. That makes that part really easy, and that first row is done. Now, if we no notice on the left column, we have our fourth negative, and so we know that this one is going to be green. No domino here, uh, or magnet. All right. So we don't know which way the other three are, st are facing it, but we do have this much information. Now if we look at the two in this row, we see we need two positives, and we can't have them next to each other, so we know this one is going to be the positive, and this one is going to be the negative in between for the one. Alright, and then in the next, um, in the next column, we, or sorry, next row, we see that we have a two and a one, the two has a question mark, and that's going to have to be the last one, because the one already has its negative right next to it, and there's going to be two positives. So, why do we... Let's go ahead and mark this up. Why do we have our green right here? If we notice in this column, second from the right with the two and the one, that one is completely done. So we can just go ahead and mark this all the way down. Notice this spot on the right. We don't know if it's going to be a positive up or positive down magnet unless we look at the left side. We know that this will help complete it. And then these two rows are done. So we're going to go ahead and focus on this, um, this row right here. This one's complete and the one below it just needs two negatives and already has a positive, already has a, one of those negatives and it's going to have this positive. So now, uh, we have this, um, this is already complete. We have a positive right here towards the bottom and positive facing up. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was uh, to play another one. I can go ahead and show you uh, another one. All right, so we know that we can't have any positives right here. We can't have a positive right here. All right, anything else? We know that these ones are going to be magnets, and these ones are definitely going to be magnets because of the two. We don't know if which one of these three is going to have the magnet because of the two. It could be in either one of those three. All right. Um. Let's see. All right. So why did I mark off this one? We have, if we have a <clears throat> positive right here, positive, positive, 
positive. It doesn't work out quite so well for the two. We're checking to see how this part will play. All right. Let's see. Positive and one negative. We know that this one definitely has to have a domino because of the first row. It has two dominoes that have a, a positive. And so this one has to have the positive. And it has to have one negative. We don't know if the negative is right here or if it's going to be right here. So let's see. Next part to focus on. All right, we know that this one can't be positive. Let's see, we need another negative though. We can't have the negative right here. So this two is gonna have its negative right here. There we go. If we want to, we can mark it off because it's complete. Let's see, one positive, one negative. We don't know if this is gonna be the guy or if it's gonna be these two. Oh, we know it can't be those two. We know that this is going to be the guy. All right, these guys are done. We know this guy's going to be negative, and that guy's done. All right, this guy can't be positive, so it has to be a blank. That was the only way to put something down. All right, so this one has to be like this. And there we go, we got the top half complete. Next part to focus on will be, well, we got at the second row from the bottom, we have a, a three negatives and one positive. Can't have a positive right here. We can have one of our negatives here, one of our negatives here, and one of our negatives here, and that uses up all the space that we can for the negatives. And then we have one positive. If we look at the top, we have the two positives done, and then we have our four negatives done. All we have left is whether this square is a green. And it is. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please ask any questions below. And have a great day.